It's 6 o'clock, I'm Jeff Johnson, and it's right now, minus 8 in the Elk Valley, minus 8 in Cranbrook. News is for Denham Ford, Subway Restaurants, Spring Honda, and Grace Compound Pharmacy. The Kimberly Fire Department reported to the scene of a garage fire Monday morning. The fire on Ben Keir Drive didn't start as a garage fire. At first, a truck went up in flames, but because the vehicle was so close to the garage, it led to the structure fire. Kimberly Fire Department received the fire call around 4.30 in the morning. There were no injuries to the residents of the home or to any firefighters. The garage, however, was heavily damaged. The cause of the fire is under investigation. Meanwhile, with the holiday season upon us, there's an increased risk of home fires this time of year, and Cranbrook Fire and Emergency Services has some tips to keep everyone safe. These tips include ensuring that your artificial tree is fire retardant, make sure natural trees don't lose needles when you touch them, and also make sure the tree isn't blocking an exit and is at least three feet away from the nearest heat source. Christmas trees cause more than 250 structure fires annually. The interim leader of Alberta's Wild Rose Party says democracy was swept aside last week when former leader Danielle Smith and eight other MLAs bolted to the governing progressive conservatives. A floor crosser herself in 2010 when she fled the PCs for the Wild Rose, Heather Forsyth will lead the party until a permanent replacement is chosen. She insists the Albertans haven't lost their opposition as a result of the defection, but have been given a renewed, refocused, and better opposition than before. Sports is for Bootleg Gap Golf, Flamin' Fitness Cranbrook, and Ghost Rider Motorsports. In the NHL, Johnny Gaudreau had a hat trick in regulation, and Mark Giordano scored in overtime as Calgary rallied past the LA Kings 4-3. Ryan Miller made 38 saves as Vancouver routed Arizona 7-1, and Braden Holtby made 38 saves as the Washington Capitals edged Ottawa 2-1. Now turning to the NFL. With everything on the line, the Bengals picked off Peyton Manning twice, no less, and ran back into the playoffs. Dre Kirkpatrick returned Manning's third interception for a touchdown in the closing minutes, completing a rally that gave Cincinnati a 37-28 victory over the Denver Broncos and a spot in the playoffs. The Bengals secured a playoff berth for the fourth consecutive season, a franchise record. The drive weather is for low-cost sand and gravel. If you're a homeowner or a contractor and need sand or gravel, then call today. They're open six days a week from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Locally owned and operated, visit low-cost sand and gravel. Today, fog to start the day, then cloudy with a high of minus one. Overnight, flurries expected about 10 centimeters of snow to fall in Fernie, low of minus one. Wednesday, Few flurries, low, high of minus three. Thursday, cloudy, a high of minus one. Friday, mix of sun and cloud, a high of minus four. Right now, it's minus 10 in the Elk Valley, minus eight in Cranbrook. I'm Jeff Johnson at 6.05. Are you on Facebook right now? Well, so are we. Like us before we creep you at Facebook.com. We're 102.9 The Drive.